I know these are rough times and a lot of the things I read out are very positive and joyful. And the joy remains, yes, but we also need to acknowledge the hardness of sometimes and the real grief. Even when we're living the best we possibly can, there can be so much grief and sorrow. And at those points, we need to remind our spirits to take it to God. Um, he knows what pain is. It grieves him too, the same things. But he can hold it well. He's got big shoulders to hold our load as well as his own. And he offers to do that for us. This song, or poetry, is uh, from back in the 1600s. The words are by Paul Gerhardt, 1607 to 1676, and the translator into English is unknown. Commit whatever grieves you. Commit whatever grieves you into the gracious hands of him who never leaves you, who heaven and earth commands, who points the clouds their courses, whom winds and waves obey. He will direct your footsteps and find for you a way. On him be your reliance if you would prosper well. To make your work enduring, your eyes on him must dwell. God does not yield to sorrow and self-tormenting care. There is with him availing no power save that of prayer. Thy way is ever open, and all things serve thy might. Thine every act is blessing, thy path unsullied light. Thy work can no man hinder, thy purpose none can stay, since thou, to bless thy children, through all wilt make a way. Hope on, my feeble, feeble spirit, and be now undismayed. God helps in every trial and makes you unafraid. Await his time with patience, then shall your eyes behold. The sun of joy and gladness, his brightest beams unfold. Leave all to his direction. In wisdom he doth reign, and in a way most wondrous, he will his course maintain. Soon he, his promise keeping, with wonder-working skill, shall put away the sorrows that now your spirit feel. Soon he, his promise keeping, with wonder-working skill, shall put away the sorrows that now your spirit feel. Ah, oh, it's beautiful wording. And that's translated like, that's just amazing to think that was originally written in a different language and yet it's so elegant in the English. Wow. I hope that blesses and comforts you like it does me. I just think it's fantastic. Commit whatever grieves you into the gracious hands of him who never leaves you, who heaven and earth commands. Hmm. He knows what he's doing.